or if the, I'm remembering that's right, right. Or the dis- or the virus which at- attacked the respiratory system caused that. So like that's where like again percep- perception and where you wish media would just be more fucking honest on both sides. Yeah. But it again, also about these sensationalists. Right, yes. For me, that's the yes, really and it's way. absolute. Everything is such an absolute a matter of fact. And we're gonna say this, we're gonna say this, and then the other side has to be wrong and stupid, and we have to be completely opposite. And that again created such a distrust and divide. Yeah. And like, so again, all of this, I think all of it back to the original conversation is mm-hmm. kind of like this thing where yeah, I think now that's we're going to another the, we're going to this next election where yeah, there are some big issues issues but i think now uh, like with everything the loud era is over the loud wave is over where everyone's trying "Ah," and it's more of like a we're all understanding each other kind of feeling each other back out to kind of get back on the same page here Mm. which again i think that there was just it was just too much of a again like being in florida we understood like you have to understand that we're not on top of each other miami got it tampa other places got it worse than us Mm -hmm. because we're spread out Mm -hmm. uh we you understood that new york them being fucking what not eight million people in one little spot Island, yeah. is going to be worse for COVID than here. Mm-hmm. But then we look at numbers, go, oh well, New York had this, so obviously they're worse. And it's like, well, come on. So yeah. again, all of it. I think that's where DeSantis opening the state got killed by people on the left. But at the same time, that's where it's like the left has to open up their eyes and say, hey, maybe there was some right to that. It's true. But I mean, I think they also look at it like you're risking people's lives. Hundred percent, but people especially are risking the their criticism. own lives. Especially too. when the criticism at like, because a lot of this criticism was coming in the moment as it was at, happening. And yes. So I mean, I think we have to have a little bit Revision more grace with each other and understand that we really didn't know what was going Everybody on. Everybody wanted time. what was right. Yeah, yeah, and sure. that's the thing. In their own opinion, we were in their own time. opinion, and and it's yeah. like I don't know, like uh, I just you just felt like that, like with that, it was just like, oh well, if we did this, then and, and again, the people here were not going to get the vaccine, whether regardless so open up the state like at the end of the day like not who cares yeah but it's like people are making their own decision that's yeah, where like, i believe anything. like i didn't get it because and like me and my grand dude me and my grandfather w- went to war over this i'm an idiot because i didn't get vaccinated mm-hmm. and i told him i said at that time i'm like i'm 26 years old i don't have health issues i quit smoking cigarettes before this like i'm fine like i i, I when i get sick I'm not knocked on my ass. I get over it within a couple hours. Like, I think I'm, I'm going to be okay. I got COVID and it knocked me fucking on my ass yeah. for two weeks in, 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 in total. I gave it to him. And yeah, yeah because I didn't know <laughs> I had hilarious. it. I well, didn't know. Funny, but fuck. I didn't know I had it when we got in, when we went to the Alabama, Louis, the Alabama hurricane game like, in Atlanta. Bitch, I told Dude, you. Dude, I was fucking, I got sick on the way up there. I was feeling it. I'm like, oh. And they were just looking at you. Like, and then everyone got on the way back. <laughs> the only two people not vaccinated were me and my uncle because we were just working, working, working. And then my dad and Pappy had it for like two days. Me and my uncle were on our ass for two weeks. So it was like, yeah, like you understood it. But at the same time, my theory worked out. I just drank a lot of orange juice. I, I ate fruits. I went ahead and just kept yeah. myself like health, like I guess as. But I mean, a lot of what they, what like liberals would have said at that time is you did exactly what they like. You passed it to your grandfather. That's right. exactly because when people made this argument you're making, including myself, mm-hmm. this was the pushback. Like it's not about you. It's a public. It's a health public, concern, yes. and it's about who are you transmitting that disease to and then now you literally did to your grandfather and thankfully he, he he beat it easily yeah he but, beat it easily now um, again that's where yeah. it's like yes that's also going to get spread itself also do you need to again that's where like the herd hum- yeah. immunity is wrong in the moment to <laughs> say going to a fucking football game <laughs> yeah it was like wrong in the moment to be which again i wore my mask when i felt like i was real i put yeah, my mask yeah. but um but um it's like herd immunity in the moment like all right well Fuck a vaccine. Fuck you no. Know, how how did we get rid of measles in this country? Vac- vaccines, which are coming back now because of all the fucking non-vaxxers. Uh, polio, right? Um, the flu, it killed how many people we got vaccinated. Then, yes, we became immune throughout herd immunity over time. And that's where it's like, that was, again, irresponsible. So where it's like, yes, the best message is to get vaccinated Take care of yourself. Take care of everyone around you. This is a respiratory. This is a contagious thing, which is why you didn't go in public, which that's what I thought. If you got sick, just don't go in public. Randy, big dog. I appreciate you, man. I didn't see the I didn't see the comment. I had to scroll down. That's my fault. I definitely appreciate you for hopping in here. Show some love. But it's like, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like in situations like that, like, yeah, it's tough. I think that the right thing to do is just if you get sick, stay inside, you know, stay home. If you need to go out because you absolutely have to yeah. wear your mask. 
I did. I did find it interesting that why did it take COVID for us to start wiping down grocery carts at Walmart? Like when you look at the people that go to Walmart, <laughs> like are, like we should. Yeah, some good stuff came out of it. But uh, I don't know. Like like again, I just feel like that was another like where the government's trying to take care of people, save people, make sure people are okay, and then we obviously are going to pick apart everything they fucking do. Mm-hmm. So, well, I mean, but then unfortunately, in that time, and you already touched on it, there were times where we were misled. And some, I mean, it feels like lied to. I mean, that's a big uh, uh, accusation to throw. So, I mean, I'm hesitant to do that, but that it was malicious. The yeah, misinformation. I, and, but, and I think that's where our arguments always came yeah. was like, like with like the the heart issues. How much of that was the vaccine gave it to them, or just the, that illness? It's that virus itself, which you know through the vaccination process, you have to get a, a, a type of like a, a strain of it. So it's like, how much of it is that the issue in itself? Yeah, you know, and it's like it's not that the scientists who spend their entire lives trying to save the world go, ah, ha, 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 we're going to create this to well, end it. And you know what I mean? Like that's just where I, I think. Like like one of the things that people point out for vaccine injuries is like myocarditis. Yeah, that which one. I think is more common actually with people that naturally caught. Yes. COVID, oh, one hundred percent. So uh, yes. So yeah, I mean, definitely there's some in- interesting things. So I think Florida. I mean, me and you both have agreed on this. I I did like the. Uh, and this was another Liberty thing where it's like, I like that people had the individual right to make the decision. Mm-hmm. Um, and companies had the right to risk lawsuit and tell people that they couldn't come to work anymore because, uh, right. because of that. So because of them not getting vaccinated and stuff. So Florida did put those companies in a tough spot where they really had to accept responsibility because mm-hmm. the state wasn't going to make it easy on them by saying like, by making this uh, uh, a mandate across the state, individual companies had to make this decision to, you know, to let people go because they weren't vaccinated i actually worked at a company that was trying to do that and then uh because florida didn't change it eventually it became like a lawsuit liability so they're like oh, let's right. back off um, they were even asking they were asking for people to send in their vax cards and shit to prove it which that was the first time i had experience with that like where my job is like hey show us your um yes yeah, different again i didn't have to experience it's a different that. experience yeah i didn't have to experience that in my field my field yeah. was just basically like again it's all fucking blue collar just tradesmen so it's just like ah if you lose a couple you just this don't matter <laughs> so but again like, yeah like it's just you know like i like we agree like it just you gotta yeah, have to do they gotta do this is a good it, conversation it all got blown out but yeah. um i don't know it just like right now with the i like the abortion being which again all this is on the ballot which great i think it's going to bring out record votes for marijuana being on the ballot which mm-hmm. I saw a poll, I think it said nine out of 10 Americans think that it should be recreationally legal. Yeah. Abortion is going to be on there, which if that gets passed, is the IVF thing get moved to Florida, then oh, we nice, have to yeah. be out of the state. Oh, not nice. Okay. No. Or the band, you said. Yeah, band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all, like all, all this stuff is like going to be on. And then are you wait, are you waiting on that? Is that like a big thing that you're waiting on? Oh, you well, start to figure out your well, if they if they ban uh bat and then um someone made an interesting joke, but then is a period gonna become like murder because the eggs. Yeah, didn't all the women didn't, in jail. Yeah. Like that. Um, but the IVF thing, that's unfortunately the only way we're gonna be able to expand our family. So so would you have to leave Parker down here? Like do like a summer uh, type thing? I don't that's think tough. I don't think he would be not with me for like school years. Right, we might be talking about a uh kidnapping situation. <laughs> so let's get up here. <laughs> this- <laughs> with me there's just a lot that at the end but yeah, be tough but i understand that's a decision you have to make you have to figure it out at the time that's for that that's the position that's the real life position that these decisions that get made by people that a lot of times are not affected by these very specific decisions like that um it's be like like you and other people that have to live with the consequences. Uh, but this was a great conversation. I want to let you get out of here because we have been going for almost four hours, been five minutes. It's just a good conversation. We can just keep going. Um, Paul, I appreciate you, brother. I oh, love always. the conversations always, man. By always. the way, Balcom B. Paul, go follow him on Twitter. Go do that. It's a great follow. Hilarious. Um, all in really a lot of engagement, a lot of interest. You get to see. I will talk to you. He will talk to you. <laughs> I will he will, will argue with you and all that. Whatever you want to do. Okay? He's going to go until you stop. Yeah. <laughs> and then I might say one more just, just to test the waters. But no, definitely go check out Balcom B. Paul. Uh, Paul B. Balcom on Instagram, I believe. Uh, go throw his name in the search bar. Find him. B A L C O M B. Great dudes that continue to be on the pod. We're going to keep on chopping it up. Sitting Politic everywhere is where you can find me. That's Sitting Politic on all platforms, all streaming platforms. Go follow us on there and support because YouTube's been full of shit. Uh, so Spotify, Apple, we're on all of those. Uh, and you want to talk about a follow on, on Twitter. 
on X. Oh man, sit in politics. Thanks, baby. Yeah, yeah, always. Yeah, a lot of my, I'm, I'm saying, like, oh, and then I realized, like, oh, I just said this to uh, the yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm literally, I'm in the fucking. Uh, uh, I like, I don't get on Twitter every day, but when I do, I'm always high right. as fuck. It's <laughs> about, <laughs> it's about forty posts in a row. I know, and literally, literally, like, I'm working. Eighteen though. minutes ago, twenty <laughs> minutes ago, twenty two minutes ago, minutes. and then I'll be gone for four yeah. days. Yeah, but no. it's worth it. No, I love it. I, it, it Twitter is a great device. I'll just say in entertainment device, if nothing else. You see a lot of uh just bizarre shit. And my, and my algorithms are fucking nuts, to be honest. Definitely some crazy shit going on. But yeah, I get to show that to you guys. There's a lot of videos I didn't get to show you guys today uh that I'm excited to show you guys whenever we get back on a live. I'm definitely, I'm guaranteeing another live this week before Tuesday because these feel good whenever we do them. So I just oh, don't yeah. know why we don't do them. And, and um, unlike a lot, like, listen, we can be friends with conservatives. Unlike the one oh, liberal. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, oh, I moved to Florida and I can't my one of my, I met this girl. She took me to a Buffalo wide uh, a wings rings to watch a UFC fight. Like, she oh, goes, "Oh, I should have known." And then, then then she's just like, and then Trump came on the screen. Oh, she got up and cheered. No, Trump came on the screen in the whole bar. Wait, chance no. into USA, oh, USA, God. which again goes to the whole like what. I don't know where she moved from, okay, but but okay. but the whole thing was like <laughs> like, like, like like liberal uh, liberal trying to find friends in Florida. And I'm That's like, hilarious. I think I said it to you, and I was like, oh, I was okay, like, yeah. I was like, this is something that you would open this with, <laughs> where I have to like now be like, oh my god, <laughs> oh dude, I'm pretty sure I had a liberal liberal I just didn't get to it. I'm sure I had a lady. <laughs> you guys <right> suck. <laughs> You make no, me look bad. We got to stand behind them. They're mostly nice people. Uh, but th yeah, this was some great conversation about that. So if you missed any of the conversation, there's a lot of conversation about liberal, uh, just kind of like ideology and how that shows itself today. And uh, we just a lot of good stuff. A, a whole back half with sports. So if, if you're towards the end, go check out the beginning if you want to see sports. And uh, then we got into some good politics conversation. Oh, I should say, uh, Gates Open Media was here. Gates Open yes. Media is not here now, but Kent, he was here. He's in the building. If you guys have watched the content, you know and love Kent. I know you do. How could you not? He was here today, kicked it with us for about two hours. Uh, we're going to have him back for sure. It was just a breath of fresh air to have him on here. Uh, and I should be clear, Gates Open Media, go follow his YouTube, show some love. I'm sure he's going to get some lives on there uh, shortly, but he's just coming back from a personal uh kind of medical issue so uh he's getting back to the swing of things and it was an honor to have him here today first for he did my podcast before he did his own man hey yeah that's beautiful so gates open media go follow him sit in politic paul b balcom we're all in here much love thank you guys for tuning in we'll see you next week and you're definitely gonna see me a day before uh